Hello everyone and welcome back to English with Lucy. Today I am going to show you six everyday habits for improving your English and these are things that you can do at home. One of the best ways to learn a language is to make it a part of your daily life and you need to do this by forming habits. And I have got some great ideas for you. Some of these habits are really enjoyable. For example, the first one, which is perform guided meditation in English. So guided meditation is great for relieving stress levels and anxiety and making you feel more connected with yourself. But doing it in the language you are learning can offer so many benefits. Often listening to English, trying to understand English, learning English in general is really, really stressful for students. But guided meditation sessions are designed to relax you, so you may find yourself picking up on a lot more. I have got three recommendations for great YouTube channels that offer guided meditation. The first speaks with a British accent, the second with an American accent and the third with an Australian accent, so you can choose which is best for you. For British, we have Caroline McCready. Simply become aware of your breathing. She has got the most beautiful voice and accent. For the American accent, we have the mindful movement. And now turn off all distractions and commit this time for yourself. You can see there's so much vocabulary to pick up on. And some people find that listening to foreign languages in a subconscious state can help them pick up on more vocabulary. It doesn't happen for everyone, but try it and see if it works for you. And the last one for Australian accents, we have Michael Seeley. And you understand that yes, these are your thoughts, but you also know and understand that who you are is so much more than simply your thoughts. Right, let's move on to habit number two. Habit number two is all about keeping yourself inspired and motivated, okay? Something that I found so helpful and interesting when I was actively learning Spanish was discovering other people's language learning journeys. And I want you to do this with other non-native English speakers who have reached a level of English that you also want to reach. Every day, try and watch a video of somebody sharing their experience. You can learn so much from them. There is only so much I can teach you as a native English speaker. I'm in your shoes because I've learnt other languages, but I'm not absolutely in your shoes with English. That's why I always say it's great to listen to native speakers and native teachers, but also non-native teachers because they understand where you're coming from because they were once there too. So I've got an example for you that I'll link below. There is the most lovely girl. She's from Brazil, but she speaks English with this most incredible British accent. She has absolutely nailed it. And she tells you how she's achieved that. I am originally from Brazil and I'm just a regular English student like all of you out there learning English. But I thought I would come to... If every day you can make it a habit to listen to at least one motivating and inspiring learning journey story, you'll pick up on so much knowledge and insight and you'll feel much more confident about your own learning process and journey. You'll realise that you're not alone, you're not stupid. Learning English is bloody hard. <laughs> it really, really is. And these people who have achieved amazing accents and wonderful fluency should be really, really proud of themselves. Now this next segment of the video, this next habit, has been sponsored by Lingoda and it is incredibly relevant. It is to take a lesson every single day. Make that habit of taking a lesson every day. And this is so relevant, especially in these strange times where so many of us are having to spend so much more time at home alone. You can take advantage of this extra spare time right now and take a proper English class with a native speaking qualified teacher every single day. Lingoda have launched their language sprint where you can learn to speak a language confidently in just three months 
gain 100% of your money back and gain free access to the Cambridge Online Speaking Test. You just need to take one of their 24-7 classes every day for three months and get your course fees completely refunded. Click on the link in the description to check the dates for this sprint, but be quick because if you miss the deadline or the spaces are already filled, you will miss out. The Super Sprint offers a 100% refund and there is also the lighter option of the regular sprint which offers a 50% refund. You can join the sprint in English, Business English, Spanish, French and German from beginner to advanced level. I'm really happy to share this opportunity with you because I've had first-hand experience of how effective the Lingoda language challenges can be. It's transformed many of my students' lives. I've also attended many of the English classes myself as a student just to make sure they were good enough for you and I found them to be excellent. Many of my other students, just like you, love Lingoda because they can interact with native speaking, qualified teachers anytime, anywhere. Group sizes are really small with an average of just three students per class and over 30 thousand people have participated in the previous Lingoda language challenges and for many of them it has completely transformed their lives allowing them to find new jobs, make new friends, travel to new places and to overcome their fear of speaking which is a huge problem for learners of any foreign language. So how can you participate? Sign up for the sprint before the deadline and pay the deposit to secure your spot. You can use my code CLASS1 to get 10 euros off your deposit. Lingoda will refund your tuition fee in full along with the deposit if you attend the agreed amount of classes within each month by following the contest rules. Remember, places in the sprint are limited. This is a language school. Spaces fill up. You have my link in the description box. You have my code CLASS1. What are you waiting for? Right, let's move on to habit number four. This one is work out in English. There are two ways of doing this and I have many, many recommendations for you. Online fitness classes are booming because everyone is at home. They are so convenient and they are also full of language learning opportunities. So many verbs, so many prepositions, lots of pronunciation to learn as well. Working out is something that you should do anyway, so why not multitask and learn English at the same time? I have got four recommendations for you. Two are British, they speak British English, and two speak American English. My first recommendation is Joe Wicks from The Body Coach TV. He speaks with a Cockney accent. During the lockdown, he has been doing a daily live workout, but you can watch these after their live as well. We go down like this, come up, and then we go one, two, three. Joe's workouts are normally high energy. They're made to make you sweat. A lot of interval training, high intensity interval training, HIIT training. We also have the wonderful Lucy Wyndham Reid. She is so lovely. I've had the pleasure of meeting her many times. She speaks with a beautiful British accent. Her videos tend to be short, and suitable for all fitness levels. They're great if you've just got five, seven, ten minutes in the morning, or you can stack lots together and make a bigger workout. I love her fitness videos. If you put in 100%, you get in results of 100% back. So that's where I really want you to focus this week on doing this for seven days. Then we have two American channels. They're quite different. We have Blogger Lattes. Her name is Cassie and she speaks with a very clear American accent. Hey guys, Cassie here and welcome to your seven day glute challenge. I'm so excited to be focusing on the lower part of our body for this entire week. I do a lot of Cassie's workouts myself. I love her brutal booty workout. It's quite old now, but I do it a lot and it's really, really great for reaching those muscles in your bum that you can't reach with just a normal squat. And we also have Yoga with Adrienne. She teaches yoga and she has a beautiful accent as well. She, it's really a pleasure to listen to her. 
Hi everyone, welcome to home, your 30 day yoga journey. It's day 19, drum roll please. I have linked all four channels down below. The other habit that I recommend to do with working out as well is if you like walking and running or you want to get into walking and running, listen to audiobooks whilst doing this. Maybe you could listen to a learning English audiobook. And this actually brings me on to number five, which is multitasking. So I'm not just focusing on working out whilst listening to audiobooks. There's so much more that you can do whilst listening to audiobooks or other things. Maybe radio programs, podcasts, anything that you want to listen to in English, do it whilst doing something else. Whilst you're hoovering, whilst you're cooking, whilst you're cleaning, whilst you're working from home. There are just so many opportunities to add an audio element into your daily life. And if you do it every single day, oh, you'll be picking up on so much pronunciation, on so much vocabulary and so much additional knowledge as well. And now for my last habit, number six, it is participate and discuss. And I'm talking about joining forums that are relevant to you. Places where you can have genuine written conversations about topics that interest you. Writing a little bit every single day is great for improving your spelling, improving your vocabulary and improving your writing skills. And even better if you can have someone correct it as well. An online forum platform that I absolutely adore is Reddit. I spend way too much time on there. And there's so much positivity on Reddit. There are so many lovely people. Don't get me wrong, there are some terrible things as well. But forums like Relationship Advice, Ask Men, Ask Women, Legal Advice, Malicious Compliance, I'll, I'll link down to them. But they're all forums where people post their problems and other people respond. You can read and improve your reading skills and absorb new vocabulary. And you can also offer advice as well. You can mention, excuse my English, I'm not native and in brackets say, if anyone wants to correct me, I'd be so happy. And you will find that there are a lot of people on Reddit that are willing to take the time to help out someone else. There are so many subreddits. These are sub forums on Reddit that cater for so many different interests. Photography, art, certain breeds of dogs, anything. If you want to find people to share opinions with, to ask opinions from, I think Reddit is a really good place. Right, that's it for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you are able to implement some of these habits into your daily life, thus improving your language skills. Don't forget to check out the Lingoda Language Sprint. All of the information and the link to sign up is in the description box. If you want to download a free audiobook, the link for the 30 day free trial on Audible is in the description box as well, along with all of my recommendations for the YouTube channels that I've mentioned too. Don't forget to connect with me on all of my social media. I've got my Facebook, my Instagram, my Twitter, and I shall see you soon for another lesson. Mwah.